Hello and welcome to a housing ideas and tips video with Rosa. In this video I will be showing you how you can make your own doorway. If you want to divide a room you can do so by using different wall furnishings, pillars, columns and other furniture items. Now the first doorway I'm going to show you here I've used the Eleanor walls to make the doorway. As you can see, the design on these walls make a good doorway pattern and design, which you can use just to make a simple doorway here. So these are just the Eleanor wall stone long with these side ones here you have to put the walls sideways as you can see and with the tile work it does run upwards but if that does not bother you it makes a nice door frame and you can always cover it with tapestries or other things if it really bothers you and it makes a simple, quick and easy doorway for you in your house when you're dividing up rooms. So the next doorway I want to show you that I have made is made from the scavenge plate wides and the scavenge plate ornates. These are from the Clockwork City Home Goods Furniture Vendor. These scavenge plate ornates which are the ones I've used around the doorway here. They are nice and thin as you can see and are great as a doorway frame and the scavenge plate wires I've just used as the actual wall to divide the room here. So I've just simply placed the scavenge plate wires. I'm using three of them and three of the scavenge plate ornates as the door frame. These Khajiit columns spiked, you can actually use these to make a door frame which I'll talk about later on. I only put two of these here because as you can see, the scavenge plate ornates aren't perfectly done on this spot here and this top one here overlaps a bit. So I had to put these Khajiit columns spiked there to cover that up. If you want your doorway in like the middle of your wall you will have to move this top one and work it out somehow with this top scavenge plate ornate but I do recommend you put this doorway near a wall or make your own makeshift pillar like I did here so these next doorway designs that I put together quickly is just to show you that you can use different types of furnishings to make your doorway and walls. So this one here I did quickly. It's just using the Orkish platforms as the wall. The Orkish platform blocks, they are craftable in the game. So with these Orkish platforms, if you want to use them as a wall, you have to double side them because the bottom is kind of non-existent. So you have to put one on this side and then one on the other side to cover the non-existent bottom of these platforms. And just to do a door frame I've used the limestone retaining walls two long ones and one short 
So that's the long one on this side. And that side and the top one's the short one. But with these Orkish platforms, you don't really have to use door frames. With the design on these platforms, you can probably just leave it as is like that. And this door frame here that I made and wall, I've used the Dark Elf column lanterns. These are actually lights, but I put them upside down so you don't see the light part of it to make the door frame. So I have one on this side upside down, the other one here upside down, and the top one I had to put on this side. And as you can see with these statue base squares I've used as the wall it's not really perfect but if you play around with it more as I just put this together quickly you should be able to make it line more and I know this side of the wall is not pretty but you can cover it up with a tapestry or something else and with Merkmire, there's Merkmire walls that you can use to divide up rooms. You could probably get away with using this archway as a doorway and using these Merkmire walls straight as the walls to divide your rooms. With Merkmire as well, there's some Merkmire totems and posts that you could probably use as the door frames and also there's the Merkmire wall stone which you can use as walls and maybe if you put it on this side you could have that as the door frame. There's plenty of other posts and pillars you can use for a door frame so you can maybe use these Eleanor columns there's these street posts you can use I've used some different Breton street posts which I'll show you shortly but yeah you could use these brotherhood columns as door frames so you can use these as door frames just by hiding the stone part in the floor and just using that as a side door frame and use one on the other side and these top parts that would join up you can have as the top matching door frame and yeah there's plenty of other pillars and columns you could use you could even this Khajiit frame arch hide the bottom part of that in the floor and have that as your door frame which would work quite well. You just have to be creative with different furniture items and you'll be able to make your own doorway. There's different lightings that you can use as door frames as well besides these dark elf light posts. There's the orcish brazier that you can use which I'll show you in a second when I show you the doorways I've done with actual doors in them. And yeah, there's other furniture items with like pillars and that that you can use to make a door frame. As I said before with these Khajiit columns, you could use them as a door frame, you just have to be creative. And you can use another one on top like that and just imagine a door frame. With how awkward these pillars are, you'd have to do it like I did here and put it near this wall here so you hide the long pillar in the wall. And of course there's blocks you can use to make a door frame. 
and you can even use these plank longs because if you use the planks as your wall you just have to overlap them so you hide the gaps in these planks then use these smaller planks to make your door frame and yeah you just put more of these planks around and you've got a makeshift doorway right there so just be creative with finish items you've got and you'll be able to make your own wall and doorway so this next doorway that I've made has actual doors that I've put in it so for this design what I have simply done is use the Eleanor walls to make the doorway and the nice pattern for the door frame but with these doors here they are actually the orcish the orcish divider curved I've used two of them to make the doors I know they're not actual doors but in this case we're pretending that they are and I know these ones are pointy on the top but I'm just pretending that they're flat and they'd be as functional doors that you can open and close so to add doors in your doorway you have to be creative as they do actually stick through as you can see here and you have to hide that with other furniture items in this case I've used the orcish braziers both of them I've put upside down and hiding the actual brazier part in the ground I chose these orcish braziers because the grey stonework on them kind of matches the stonework of this Strident Springs house and I've continued the elements of that through this extension it works well to kind of hide these orcish dividers you can see them a little bit here but it is not perfect and doesn't really bother me as it achieves the purpose that I want it to as actual doors I could probably move these braziers over a bit more but I like them where they are so that's a simple doorway you can make with doors in it so this next doorway here that I have made with doors as well is different from the Strident Springs doorway that I've done as I had to go about it in a different way so I've used the Orkish braziers again using four of them to achieve this doorway I had to use two up the top here as this one here didn't quite go up to the ceiling high enough but it works as a doorway and for the actual door frame I've used the Breton light posts arched because these are light posts and because these orcish braziers are nice and big I've been able to hide the actual light post part in them and just use the wood part of these light posts to make the door frame here so I'll just move these dividers out the way so you can actually see the door frame here this top one here I've put it on the side to hide the light post part in there 
And yeah, it makes a nice doorway as you can see. You don't have to use these orcish braziers. You can use different pillars and light posts that I showed you before, such as the Dark Elf one or the Khajiit columns, and there's plenty of other columns and light posts that you can use. So as the wall in this house, I've actually used the Eleanor bookcase, which I've had to double side as I didn't want to show the book part of it. And it makes a nice looking wall. And because the gardener house here has a post there, it's imperfect, but I just covered that by using that orcish tapestry there. It's always good if your building projects have imperfections, you just cover it up with something else. These bookcases do make great room dividers and walls that you can use. But yeah, this doorway fits perfectly here and as I've used the Breton light posts which match in this gardener house as this is the Breton style with the woodwork here these light posts match well and work well as a door frame and yeah there's plenty of other light posts and columns you can use to make a nice looking door frame. Now as the actual doors for this that I have used, they are the Eleanor dividers. These are craftable in game and because of the nice intricate wood design on them, I find they fit perfectly in this house as doorways. It's not as rugged as the wood on the doorway that this house has but it works in this case and you can still angle it so you can walk through it. As I've used the braziers as the door frame you can kind of hide the dividers in them which I have done not very perfectly here, but as I'm still working on this house, I'll probably move these a bit more just to hide it. But that's the thing you have to keep in mind when you are making a doorway with doors is it will be imperfect, but you can use other furniture items like tapestries and that to cover the imperfections. So that's just some of my simple doorway designs and ideas that I came up with which you can use and adapt to your own needs of course. If you have any questions or comments please ask those below. So as always I will see you around. Thanks for watching.